In the week, a company I recently published a video on released news that removed a risk that I previously highlighted in that last video. Okay, let's take a look at it. That company is Silver Bullet Data Services. SBDS is the ticker. Okay, this was the news placing to raise one million pound. It was done at 70 pence, which was a discount. But look what happened to the share price. Literally went down and it got bought up very quickly. I tried to buy more shares. I couldn't get one share. I couldn't get a quote. It immediately popped back up. And you can see there, there's a sort of support line there, hit that previous support. And now it's back above that previous resistance in a new sort of trending level, higher level there, okay? The proceeds of the placing will be principally used to provide the working capital required to facilitate the significant recent growth in contract wins. So it's significant and it's recent. That's good news. And further accelerate the expansion of the company's new 4D AI-powered insights platform. We'll talk about that in a bit, all right? The company is witnessing significant demand for the AI-driven insight capabilities and the 4D AI platform can provide, with clients increasingly seeking innovative ways to utilize AI in conjunction with privacy-safe data assets to drive marketing performance and return on investment. So that was the news there. And by the way, they launched this product on the 15th, okay? 4D came first, now the Insights platforms come uh, recently, all right? So, just a reminder, Silver Bullet's proprietary 4D AI platform is designed to enable advertisers to target consumers in a privacy-first post-cookie world. You're probably thinking, what the heck is that? Okay, first of all, let's look at the market, right? And you can watch in more detail on this uh, on, on our previous video if you click above the screen there somewhere. Uh, but the marketing uh, in digital advertising is vast and growing. Like I said, it's going to be close to a trillion dollars in 2030. Probably surpassed that actually. But you see, it's grown every year pretty much from 2017 from 243 billion. Right now, it's around about sort of 700 billion and growing. But there's a seismic shift happening in 2024. Huge shift. All right. For years, brands have been using third party cookies to track website visitors and collect data that helps them target ads to their audiences. So you're probably aware of this. But if you're a user there of a browser and you go to a website there and all of a sudden a cookie is put on your browser. So wherever you go then to other sites, you'll see adverts for that website tracking you around. However, since General Data Protection Regulation and the e-privacy directive came into force, it affects how website owners may use cookies and online tracking of visitors. And Mozilla Firefox and Apple Safari have introduced new features in their web browsers to prevent cross-site tracking and also have turned off support for third-party cookies. But the white elephant in the room here is Google Chrome because they own 65% of the market. Vast. There's Safari, there's Firefox. They're the next two biggest browsers, but they're nothing compared to Google Chrome. Like I said, they are going to deprecate third-party cookies in the second half of 2024. This is going to be massive. Massive, I should say. It's not massive. That doesn't make sense. To the digital advertising market. More than 80% of Alphabet's revenue comes from Google Ads, which generates $225 billion per annum. Without third-party tracking cookies, how do advertisers target potential customers? This is where 4D AI comes in. Advanced contextual targeting insights. How good is it? Basically, it looks at the context of where advertisers, advertisers are going to place their adverts, and it gives them a rating of how effective that will be, You know what return on their investment will get. But how good is their product? Because it's a big market. Look at this. In the trial with Renault, the 4D solution was pitted against a contextual advertising solution offered by Google, DV360. The result? It outperformed the competitor solution across all metrics, achieving 133% increase in click-through rates and 51% increase in page views. Now, look at this. On the 15th of November, they announced the launch of the AI-powered inside platform. And these figures coming here, basically... Silver Bullet is pleased to announce the launch's 4D AI-powered uh, insights platform based on the accumulated knowledge and client feedback from more than 100 campaigns in 2023. 
more than 100 in this year so far. The 4D AI Insights platform leverages AI models to combine proprietary 4D contextual intelligence with client first-party data to improve video display and YouTube campaign performance. In three recent individual digital advertising campaigns, 4D AI Insights managed services del delivered, look at this, 174%, 244%, 407% improvement, respectively, on client measured KPIs and benchmarks. That is massive. The board has confidence in the 4D model and pipeline in the 2024 based on 4D performance, I'm not surprised, and increasing demand for privacy-first AI-driven capabilities as the cookie is forecast to be finally deprecated in 2024. They say finally because Google has been threatening to do it for a long time. But of course, there's so much money in the offing <laughs> they delayed it a little bit, but it's now going to happen in 2024. Seismic shift in that market. Programmatic director of Omnicom Media, this was in the same RNS on the launch of the platform, said, We have been delighted with the power of 4D, which has been delivering outstanding results for our clients. Remember that. Outstanding results for our clients and exceeding KPI benchmarks. 2023 has been a great year utilizing 4D's AI-driven privacy-safe marketing platform, and we look forward to building and using, learning from 2023 into 2024 and beyond. You're probably thinking, oh, so who's Omnicom? Because that's that's the quote here. Programmatic director at Omnicom, right? Who is Omnicom? Well, look at this. A global media marketing corporate communications holding company. They're ranked as one, one of the four largest advertising agencies in the world by New York Times in 2002. 2014, Omnicom was considered the second largest advertising holding company by the Wall Street Journal. Second largest in the world. Basically, there's only three big ones in the world. They are WPP, Omnicom, and Publicis Group, which is French, and are leading advertising companies by revenue in the world. They are the three biggest, okay? And already, Omnicom are using... Silver Bullets 4D platform. Let's have a look at Omnicom. It's got a market cap of 15 billion. Okay. Top line revenue of 14 and a half billion, pretty much. And they're doing 2 billion a profit every year. Over 5,000 clients in more than 70 countries. Global leader in marketing communications. Their clients include Apple, Adidas, McDonald's, Nissan. PepsiCo, Pfizer, Johnson Johnson, Exxon Mobil, Unilever, Mars, and Volkswagen. You don't get bigger than that. They're huge, biggest clients in the world. And yet, it seems like Omnicom are using Silverbook's 4D AI platform. I remind you again, we've been delighted with the power of 4D, which has been delivering outstanding results for our clients and exceeding KPI benchmarks. So what about Publicis Group? What about the other two groups here? Publicis. Remember this? In a trial with Renault, they beat Google's offering. Well, I wonder whose client Renault is. They're French. Publicis Group is French. If you go to Publicis website, oh, look, there's Renault, there's Renault. There's also Heineken here and Heineken here. And BMW. Wow. So they're a big client. They got some big clients as well. You know? Oh, hang on a sec. Silver Bullets Global Client Portfolio. Heineken. BMW. Hmm. Okay. What about WPP? Who are their clients? They've got Dell, Lidl, HSBC, Sharpie, Volkswagen, Food Saver, Johnson & Johnson. Oh, hang on. Dell, Johnson & Johnson. Well, oh, Mars is there. That's another one as well. I didn't spot that one until just now. Now, this is very significant because technology being endorsed by global majors is important for two reasons, okay? Number one, validation. These big companies are using the technology of these small companies because they are best in class. Number two, this means that these global majors don't have their own solutions that are as effective as silver bullets, which could mean they're also a potential takeover target by these big companies. So let's look at the forecasts. Uh, based on broker notes, uh, current growth, costs, and expected margins. Okay, so these are just forecasts, but the growth has been very good here. Uh, so I said they, they did say in that recent uh, fundraising 
they will be um, you know, moving towards a positive position EBITDA-wise early 2024. It'll get better then, the margins will get better, and uh, more cash will go to the bottom line. But this is my thoughts and forecasts. So we've gone from 3.8 million to 5.8 million. That's 53 billion groups. I think it's going to do more than that again next this year for 2023, up to over 9 million. I'm, I'm being quite conservative here. And again, 50% in 2024 and 45% there. So by 2025, you're talking about you know close to 20 million in top line growth. And the margins now expanding, like you see here, 12 cent uh, EBITDA margins for 2024, 6.3, 4.3 net. Now I'm saying in 2025, around about 28% EBITDA, 14 um, you know, operating or EBIT and 11 net, all right? And if you stayed at this price, that would be the valuation, basically a PE of eight. So nothing. This is a, you know, a fast growing, uh, you know, digital advertising company with its own product that's uh, cutting edge. The big majors using so that, that's ridiculous. So basically, on, on these from multiple sales, multiple three, 15 EBITDA, 25, 30 PE, that's nothing for a company like this. Okay. I would say share price would be around about 157 for 2024. So that's 39% upside. And for 2025, you're looking at £4.15, which is 267% upside if they don't get bought out. I'm very biased in this company. I like it a lot. I think it's got the right product in the right area at the right time with deprecation of cookies. But please, 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 I may be talking absolute rubbish. So do your own research, okay? And I mean that. Look into it a lot. Do lots and lots of research. But I genuinely think this is one of the most exciting companies on AIM I've seen for a long time. I'm quite excited about it. Do your own research, please. Don't blame me. The share price goes down. That's what I get. I get overly enthused about a company, and uh, sometimes it doesn't go it doesn't go to plan. People start blaming me. Don't blame don't blame me. You know, do your own research. It's your money. Don't trust me. Do your own research. Thank you for watching.